Welcome to another edition of Living Simply and Fun. I'm your host, Rita. That's Aaron. Today we'll be reviewing... Uh, uh, what are we smoking today? The... Uh, it's squared. <laughs> we're, we're joking about it. We're sitting here and... Hmm, what's this we're smoking? <laughs> it's square. <laughs> this is a CAO flathead, which is very flat at the head. Uh, very much like the Java mints, etc. Uh, or other Javas. It is also a very square box press. Oh, how I love 90 degree angles. <sighs> so anyways, this is supposed to be a car lover's dream. The flathead. Very 50-ish retro Edsel car, sort of. Uh, I think Edsel. It's a dark wrapper. Uh, this here is a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper uh, with Nicaraguan and Dominican long fillers and a Connecticut Habano binder. Uh, this was blended by uh, Rick Rodriguez at CAO. Ricky Rodriguez? Just Rick. Uh, this is a 660 card. It has a 95 uh, rating from Cigar Aficionado, and it was rated the number three cigar of 2015. Um, and it's square. So, um, let's get to a scent test. Kind of a burnt cocoa, sort of. Burnt wood slash cocoa. Not the motor oil, I thought. You mean just the wrapper yeah. itself? Wrong, I know exactly what it smells like. The freight? <laughs> no, it smells like, no offense to anyone, uh, uh, sweaty socks or sweaty sweaty nylons after a busy day. It's got that smell to it. I don't know. I, kinda, I know what, well. I kind of think smoky. Well, I'm telling you what my thing is. I can barbecued pick it up. cocoa. This smells just like I said. I'm not going back. It smells like sweat socks or, you know, something that you've worn all day and you peel it off. And then kind of a smell of like winter fresh gum off the head or the foot. Slightly sweet, a little bit grassy, somewhat mintish. Maybe a mint julep. No, I would agree there's a mint flavor to it, but I'm still sticking with the original thing that the wrapper smells like a sweat sock. Be there, or be squared, as Alf would say. So, go ahead and fire this up. Whoa. No overpowering flavor on the very first draw. Uh, well, how about that? Completely even. Cool. It's uh, square. <laughs> um, For all of you wondering out there on this channel, I just want to share, uh, most likely I will be having surgery on October 12th. That is some good news. We're just waiting on a few loose ends. Something... I don't want to say it's smoky, but kind of a toasty flavor is what I'm getting, if anything. She gave me the third. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Now we should know by end of week. I'm backing up a light pepper scent. Good, good, clean fill. Uh, 
uh, clean burn uh, on the palate. Very nice flavors. Toasted cedar, definitely. I'll agree there. There's a light cocoa flavor, perhaps. Just a little bit. So, talking about cigars for a minute. Yesterday's cigar was, was really great, thanks to Johnny Sticks. Thanks to Eric for this donation today. I do want to say something funny. Cousin smoked the CAO Oso, and he said it was... A good cigar. It's not a great cigar or a fine cigar. He said it was okay and burnt too quick. Yeah, it's because he power puffed. Then he says that he didn't say anything about whoops, gotta learn from the masters. I'll say this. The 660 being square has a peculiar feeling in the mouth, but it feels totally comfortable too. It's not awkward. It's just different. Did you find out any information on this? Why they made a uh, big uh, named after a car? You know, I should have done that. I did oh, not. Interesting thought. Oh well. It, it's just car themed, as far as I can tell. Every one of their things is named after a car. Um, I mean, I don't no. know why. Does anybody know why? I have no clue. And don't really care. As long as it smokes. Cigar like this, I know, I, I do want to try the 770 Big Block, but, you know, a 660 is not bad box pressed. And, and this is a very, very sharp box press. Uh, it's not the sharpest I've seen. Uh... Honestly, I think one of the sharpest box presses I've ever seen was the Tiamo Revolution. Uh, which isn't that what I just sent one in, out. Uh, isn't that what we smoked over at Kells? No, we we reviewed the Tiamo Revolution. What we had there was the uh, Tiamo Cuban, uh, which was like a heritage line or whatever. Uh, I I don't know offhand, but they apparently have like cigars of the world or whatever, and they have one that's a Cuban Cuban esque. And that's the one we have. I'd have to look it up again. <sighs> well, I'm liking this so far. It's fairly mild. The flavors are a little nondistinct, but very enjoyable. Uh, cedar is one of the primary flavors that is coming through. Uh, I do want to say the vein is very well exposed on this cigar. At the same time, I think it's going to unravel itself, but so far it's sticking in there pretty good. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, I see how that is. You got like a big wrinkle in yours. It was probably the Tercidor, I bet, if anything. Probably. Well, we'll get to you in the halfway point here and let you know how this has progressed. Stay so tuned. See, stay tuned. Welcome back to the halfway point of the CAO Flathead. Could go a square head. SpongeBob square head? I don't know. It doesn't quite work. Yes, yeah. square. Anyways, the flavors are kind of mild, even though the finish is rather decent. Uh, and this, uh, this is a cigar of multiple beasts. For one, when I'm exhaling the smoke, I tend to get a slight smoky flavor that comes through, but when I'm pulling or drawing on the smoke, I don't get much in the way of flavor. And the aftertaste, the finish, seems to be along the nut nutty and coffee lines. Uh, somewhat espresso-ish. So, I, I'm liking it. It's it's a pretty quality uh, cigar in flavors. Especially that smokiness. I'm really enjoying that when I breathe out. And it is mildly wonky for a square cigar. Mine's been burning expecting. pretty much on a razor, so. Um, but it's got good smoke output. It's got some good taste. I'm picking up right now toasted cedar notes. Yeah, the cedar is probably the wood that I'm picking up. I'm picking up light cocoa. 
Um, nothing much after that, you know. Cedar and espresso. I said cocoa. Mm. Okay, I could see that perhaps. Well, there's a thing that I don't like. It's the glue on here was pretty well on here. But luckily, even though the glue comes all the way over here, didn't pull off any of my wrapper either. So, can't complain too much about that. And so you all understand that this is one of those cigars where it is a really good to uh, sample. And uh, I should say besides sampling, it's also good for, um, you know, I'm just leveling this out real quick, somewhat. Um, it also is, because like I said, as Aaron said, it's got a little wonky burn, but... Um, it doesn't hold a firm ash either. Uh, I tried to build up an ash on here, and it just fell off on its own like an inch in. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. Um, and expect no more than an inch of ash at a time. If you're trying to build a whole one, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, I suppose somebody could do that if they're very, very steady with their hands and, you know, make sure they don't have to move the cigar much, but that's a lot of work to try to keep that. Um, yeah, I agree with Aaron completely, you know, about the ash. Um, it does come off. Um, it is a good cigar. Uh, I'd say it's medium, all, or not medium, mild all the way through. Um, it's just, you know. Well, there's some slight hickory flavors in here, too, I I'm thinking think. light hickory flavored. Mostly it is. Mostly cedar. Cedar, yeah. Toasted cedar. So. so I suppose we'll get into the final third here and let you know how this has progressed even more. But, you know, one thing I will say is that this has been a very quality long smoke, too. So. I do want to say, if my cousin's watching this, Corey, you don't power puff one of these cigars. You, you power puff it in an hour or less, there's a problem, young man. <laughs> what do you think, Garrett? Uh... I don't know. I try to let the cigar dictate my tempo, and I, I try not to smoke too fast. And so many of them want to be low, especially the better ones. The the more I like the flavor, the harder it is for me to actually sit back and relax with it. By the way, yet again, ginger beer does go very well with this. Cleanses the palate, keeps the cigar fresh, and it accompanies the flavor as well. I don't have any of that. He didn't offer any at the store, so. I can't afford to buy it all. Yes, I know that. <laughs> so, stay tuned. Hello, and welcome to the final third of the CAO Flathead. It has been a very decent long smoke. Stop that. Uh, so, what I have to say here is that it kind of has uh, 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 a, veg a vegetative cedar flavor sort of to it. Uh, or, no. Sorry, I meant herbal cedar. Uh, it kind of reminds me of various herbs and spices you'd find in your cooking cabinet. Uh, but it does have some of those kind of vegetative grass-like notes. It's um, like a uh, celery. But cedar seems to be the primary flavor in this. And it's very appealing as a cigar, especially since it's a long, burning one, too. Uh, you're going to get your money's worth out of it. Definitely recommend it for what the price. For stick? Almost nine dollars a stick uh, at my B and M. Uh, for those who don't know B and M, that's brick and mortar. Um, and uh, I, I'm very, uh, I'm very pleased with this. Very. So I give it a thumbs up. Definitely recommend you give it a try. Uh, was it, in my opinion, something that would be ranked third in 2015? I don't know. I mean, out of all the cigars I've tried. This probably you mean? no, it was 2015. This probably wouldn't end up in my top 10, uh, but it would end up probably in my top 25 or 50 that I've ever had. So uh, between 25 and 50, roughly, um, and it is something I would buy again. Rita, um, for the most part, it's burned on a razor about 90 percent of the time. A little wonkiness, but you got to expect that from a box press. Even though I only um, needed one fix, uh, I had a hangnail that got to be about eh, almost a half inch long. So, I was just like, yeah, fix that. 
cedar, uh, there is some cedar tasting at the end. There is some spice to it. I'd say I'm picking up in the final third some Lajero. Um, but uh, mostly it is a, as Aaron said, I think between cedar and celery. But, you know, it is a good a good cigar and highly recommended. It. it would not be on my top 10. It would be on my top 10 for um, length of burn because nothing can compete with the the uh, 6x60 Mighty uh, Gordo uh, Brickhouse Maduro. Yeah. But this one we've been smoking on almost two hours, so maybe even a little more than. Well, no least. offense if I say this to Aaron, he'll get the joke. You're watching this, Corey. You don't power puff a cigar like this and get an hour out of it. Yeah, I, I think even if you power puff this, you'd be a good hour and 20 minutes. Exactly, but that's but. still a waste of time because you want it longer and you're supposed to let it, you but know. But, you know, each smoker smokes at a different rate. Some smoke fast, some smoke slow. I like to smoke Maybe slow. what it is is Cousin Corey likes to smoke fast because he wants to get it out of the way. It could be. I mean, like you said, each cigar is uh, different. I, I've had positions where I've sat there and I'm like, eh, I'm not feeling this cigar. I just want to hurry up and get it done with. But at the same time, I wanted a cigar. So uh, sometimes I get to that point. But With me, I do want to say, is this cigar um, satisfying? Yes, yes it is. It's a very satisfying smoke. So... Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. If I can get a 7x70, I'd try that and review it for you all. Yeah, I know you've been wanting to try the 7x70 Big Block. Yes, I knew uh, Big Smoke had it. I almost bought it, but they wanted like almost That's what one bucks. I tried, actually, uh, about a year ago. Uh, How long did it burn? That was the day that we went in, and you ended up not buying because you miscalculated and you wanted two bags of pipe tobacco and it was, it was like 30 bucks extra it ended up like 150 bucks and like you, you were expecting to walk out for like 70 bucks and i told you that they were right but um anyways i ended up buying my cigars you didn't buy yours and i ended up trying this that day uh, that's when i got that arturo fuente uh, the two, which Fuente, you said two. wasn't even anything to write home about. No, it was essentially a basic Arturo Fuente, which I'm not a big fan of that Arturo Fuente. So I, I, don't haven't, I haven't had a Fuente yet that I just have to have again. Um, that includes uh, the uh, the Opus X by Arturo Fuente. Now, the so, he Hemingway, on the other hand, I did really enjoy the Hemingway, but I don't see those very often in my PMs, and I just can't afford them. Well, like I said, the uh, Opus X isn't something to write home about either is what I've heard. I, then again, I, I hear a know. lot of people loving them, but a lot of people that uh, we're on a group with buys boxes of them. And oh, it's, like a brag, uh, it's like a brag fest. <laughs> I haven't noticed that really, but it does. One guy have like seven boxes. That's not a brag fest? And they're $50 a stick pretty much? Yeah, you know, that's kind of overkill buy that many of them but you know to each their own if that's what they like that's if, cool. uh, as my cousin would say probably Corey he's a cigar smoker um, it's their money let them do what they want to do with their money exactly and uh, I can't say anything about uh, the opuses because I've never had one you know I would of. love to try Stratavarius but they're hard to get a hold of the other ones I want to try is the God of Fire by Turo Fuentes those and are uh, an, opus. an opus as well, but that's on my list as well as you know the Daniel Marshall DM2 Gold and the HMS, HMS Gurkha. Anything that's too pricey for us to buy essentially is on your list to try. <laughs> I'm a girl. What can you say? It's just stuff I'd like to try. I do have some exquisite. Taste. You like to smoke your diamond rings. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a diamond ring too. <laughs> so, anyways, with all that said, please add and subscribe. Leave questions, comments, feedback, suggestions. If you've smoked this, leave us your comments and thoughts if you feel like it. Just try to keep it nice is all we ask. And, and enjoy, enjoy every puff. puff.